One of the most profitable roles within Red Dead Online is the collector. There's no other activity within the game that comes close to making the same amount of money that you're able to make when going through the collector role. And because of this, in today's video, I'm going to guide you through it. From the very first moment that you start going through this role all the way up to rank 20 to where hopefully you can start making hundreds of thousands of dollars. With the collector, it is unlike any other role within the game. And what I mean by that is that you can start it without actually buying into it. From the very first moment that you start Red Dead Online, after you complete the tutorial and you're put into free roam, you can go around the world and you can find collectibles. Now you can't find every single collectible because there are some which requires specialist equipment. But if you go to an exact location where you can find a tarot card, that tarot card will be there and you will be able to pick it up. Likewise, if you go through missions and kill a number of enemies, you can loot their bodies and you still have the exact same chance of being able to loot a collectible from the body as if you would after you bought into the collector role. So from the very first moment that you start Red Dead Online, you can start progressing this, but there are a few catches. Unfortunately, the only way that you're able to sell collectibles is after you've bought into it. So you can collect them, you just can't sell them. And of course, with this, even though when you pick up a collectible within free roam, you are rewarded with XP, you're not rewarded with roll XP because you haven't unlocked it as of yet. But this is still something that you can progress by building up collectibles so that later you can sell them once you have enough to actually buy into this. So with all of that said, how do you buy into the collector? With the collector, there is not a set location that you need to go to in order for you to start. You will need to meet Madame Nazar, but depending on the day will depend on her location within the Red Dead world. Just like any other role, the moment that you go over to speak to her, a cutscene will start. This cutscene can last around five minutes and at the end, you're given the offer to buy into the collector bag, which will cost 15 gold bars. Definitely worth it because of the amount of money and XP that you can get from this role, especially if you're going to be spending some time going through it. Once you've bought into the collector bag, this is where this role is yet again different to every other role because there are no set missions. Rockstar's initial idea for the collector is that you would go over to Madame Nazar and you would buy collector maps. With these collector maps, they would work the exact same as treasure maps in that you will open them and it will give you a set location in which you can find collectibles. You will then spend time heading over to those locations, find the collectibles and then come back to Madame Lazar to buy another map and go through this whole process again. But you don't need to do any of this. Every single collectible within the game is already available within Free Roam. And those collector maps that you're buying into are only showing the location. So you don't need to guess it. But you don't need to guess it anyway, because there is a free service which you can use. This is the Jean Rope collector map. This will show every single activity, not just based on the collector, but every other activity within the game. You can use this to find collectibles, but you can also use it to find dynamic events, legendary animals, and a lot more. So the whole purpose of what Rockstar initially intended, where they hoped players would buy into collector maps, just never happened. And over the years with updates, Rockstar have tried to nerf the collector role so it wasn't as useful, but they never got rid of this. And now we're in a situation where Rockstar will not be pushing out any more major updates, so this isn't going to change. So for you to really progress the collector role, there will be a link in the description down below which will show you the collector map. This collector map will show every single collectible location. Now when you're first starting out at rank zero, you will not be able to find every single collectible. For example, for you to go through the coin set, you will actually need to have a metal detector and a shovel. If you don't have this, you will not be able to find the locations and you will not be able to dig them up. But what you can do right at the beginning is focus on looking at the likes of your tarot cards, which will give you anywhere between 100 to 300 XP for every single card that you pick up. And this will make it incredibly easy in order for you to rank up to eventually where you can unlock the penalty and field shovel and also the metal detector. And whilst on the subject of talking about building up XP, 
there's no secrets to you grinding this role. You just need to go around and pick up collectibles. And for every single collectible that you pick up, you'll get anywhere between 100 to 300 XP in total. But it doesn't just stop there. You also want to make sure that when you're going through collectibles, that you're not just going to get one collectible and then going over to Madame Nazar to sell it. Because once you sell it, even though you'll get money for it, you'll get no XP. The only way in which you can get XP from selling is if you complete a collector set. The way that you complete a collector set is by collecting all the collectibles as part of that set. So you have at least one of every single item. That way, once you go over, instead of you selling those collectibles individually, you sell it as part of a set. That set will give you more money. So there's the incentive as is, but it'll also reward you with 1,500 XP. With all of this XP, this makes the collector role one of the easiest roles in order for you to make money as well as for you to grind XP. And it comes in at a fairly low barrier to entry. There's no weapons, there's no skill, there's no effort required for you to progress through this. The only items that you do need to buy is the shovel and the penitent field shovel. Everything else in the collector role isn't really worth it. it. Comes down to customization, which is entirely up to you. Now let's actually take things to the next level. The Jean Rope collector map will show every single collectible location, but not every single collectible is created equal. You'll notice that some of these collector sets are highlighted white, whereas others are highlighted yellow. The ones in white are guaranteed sets. Now, what does this mean? Well, guaranteed sets are where you can find the exact location of every single individual collectible. If you wanted to look at tarot cards cups and find three of cups, you can select that and you can find the exact location where you'll head over and find it within game. But the collector sets which are highlighted yellow, they are random. It will still give you a location within game that you can go to and find a collectible as part of that set, but the individual collectible that you get will be random. So you can still go and find coins using this, but when you go to that location to dig a coin up, there is no possible way that you can predict what coin you'll be able to get because it is based on a random chance. A random chance you'll get one of those coins. Whilst we're talking about all of this, we should also take note with some of the flowers. The American wildflowers are guaranteed sets, but there are two which are based on a timer. For these collectibles, you have the exact location, but they will only spawn within game from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. If you're at those locations and are not spawning in, that's probably the reason why. With all of this laid out, now we can start looking at the best way to make money. The most expensive set within the game is the coin set. By completing this, you'll get $540. But there is a problem with this. Unfortunately, within Red Dead, after you pick up a collectible, you cannot use that collectible location again to find a collectible that day. You'll need to wait another 24 hours because of the new spawn locations for you to be able to find it. So once you go through all 15 spawn locations for the coins, you're done for that day. You need to wait another 24 hours. This makes things difficult. The coin set is a random set and there's two coins within here that are extremely rare. We're talking about both having less than a 1% chance of being pulled, which does mean for you to get $540 by going through the coin sets, you're going to need to spend multiple days going through it in order for you to actually complete this set to sell to Madame Lazar. That's why it's better for you to focus on guaranteed sets. The guaranteed sets which will give the most money are Family Heirlooms which will give $292.50, Tarot Cards Pentacles which will give $287 and Tarot Cards Swords which will give $286.50. These are the ones that you want to focus on. Between all three you'll get $866 and the good thing about this is that you can actually complete all three of these within just one hour. Now, unfortunately, just like the coin set, once these are completed, you can't go through these same sets again until the next day. So you will only be able to make $866 within that first hour. And then after that, you'll need to focus on a different free set in order for you to complete that day, which will give you slightly less money. And as time goes on, it gets less and less and less until you have no collectibles within a world to collect on that day. But it does mean if you just spend one hour a day going through this role, you will be able to get $866 and you can keep this going forever. This is how I've been able to make so much money within this game because I did go through it. Now for this video, it is a collector's guide. That is what we're focusing on. But if you really do want to maximize the most amount of money, I highly recommend that you also set up the trader so you have cribs generating goods in the background and you'll head 
head over to your Moonshine Shack to buy Moonshine Mash so that you have Marcel also making Moonshine in the background. That way you have both of them working away whilst you go and find these collector sets. And by the time that you finish finding all three of these sets, you'll get $866 from the collector itself. Plus then it's also time for you to either resupply the trader or you could do a trader sell. Once that's done, you'll also need to head over to the Moonshine Shack where you'll sell your Moonshine and resupply that. This is the only way within the game for you to make over a thousand dollars in just one single hour. There is nothing else that comes close. The last final tip for this video comes down to maximizing money, as well as it also being XP depending on the content that Rockstar releases. Rockstar will frequently push bonuses and discounts. They do this as part of their weekly or even monthly updates. If you really want to maximize the most amount of money, what you can do is go through the collector role and just stack up as many collector sets as possible. And when Rockstar finally introduces an increase in the payout for certain collector sets, that is when you can sell those collectibles. Likewise, when it comes to XP, if you know that there's a certain type of content coming which will require XP for you to go through, if Rockstar were going to re-release an Outlaw Pass, or maybe they were going to release a complete completely new outlaw pass it will be a smart idea for you to stack as many collector sets as possible wait for that outlaw pass to be released and once it is released you can then sell all of your sets with each of them giving you 1500 xp making it incredibly easy for you to reach your maximum rank within that outlaw pass within just a matter of minutes this is what I ended up doing for every single update and it allowed me to complete content a lot quicker than everyone else where I was able to then record it as part of videos. But as Rockstar are no longer putting as much attention to Red Dead as what they once were, it's unlikely we'll get a new Outlaw Pass, but this is just if it was ever to happen, mainly with re-release content. Now this is absolutely everything that you need to know about the collector role. This is the only guide that you need going from the very beginning, initially starting, to reaching maximum rank whilst also trying to find the best ways to make money as well as XP. If you do have any questions about anything, then please feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to know the best way in which you can go through the bounty hunter, then that video is up next. But before you go and watch that, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notification. Now it's time to click that video on screen and find the best way in which you can go through the bounty hunter.